I got to go with this problem. I want to move on. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this one gets a lot of people stuck because, again, when we're looking at your side lengths, and I'm competing with a little too many people right now, um, when you're looking at the side lengths here, and I think the person is still diamond. I could hear her voice, but maybe she stopped now. Oh, okay. Um, now, when you guys are looking at your side lengths, a lot of people, I think everybody could, everybody uniformly understands that two can be one of those side lengths, right? Now, where it gets in trouble though, is everybody sees all these x's, so they want to do an x. But the problem we have is 2x times what gives you 8t to the fourth? Nothing, right? So we can't use x. So if x is not a part of every single term, then guess what? We can't use it. So the only thing we can factor out is a 2 right now. And sometimes, guys, that's it. You might only be able to factor out a number or only be able to factor out a variable. It's possible. But, Mariana, what we see, though, is every term does share a t. And they share a t to the second power. Right? So the GCF is 2t squared. And what you're basically going to do is identify, is you're basically going to divide 2t squared by every one of these terms. So you can think about it that way. Or you guys can think about it and say, 2t squared times what gives me 6x squared t cubed? Well, since there's no other x, we know that the answer is going to be 3. The x's is going to remain the same, and that's t. Minus this one would be 2x. Right? There's no t because I already have t squared. Plus. 8t squared minus x cubed t cubed. Oh, good, good point. Thank you. Good catch. Where two? Because two times what gives you negative four? Negative two. This one. OK, what two? We're, we're. Inside the box. Isn't that the original problem? So therefore, again, the factoring is what are you multiplying by? So your final answer is 2t squared times 3x squared t minus 2x plus 4t squared minus x cubed t cubed.